Joey, not the ideal result, but I want to look at the, the second half and obviously Reading showed a, a, a fiery performance in the second half there, showed what they were capable of. And if you do that in the first half, then, you know, you get a better result from that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, it's, it's, it's quite negative, the result and everything, but we have to keep, uh, keep uh, a hold on the positive side of, of things. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we first have to be in a negative situation to get something positive out of it. And that's, that's not good. So why don't we try to be positive all the game through? And, yeah. It's just just hard, you know, when you concede goals like that. It's so hard to play football uh, against, you know. The, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Yeah. Just looking at the game overall, obviously the first half that Norwich got the two early goals. You go into half time and not an ideal situation. What what was said at half time to kind of spur you on and produce a better performance second half? Um, I think uh, I was personally not there in the, in the second half. So, uh, but. Uh, just keep going, you know, and, and uh, you see Norwich drop already after the 3-1, so you got loads of space to play and, and create opportunities. And I think we did that better in the second half to to get people on, on the ball and uh, uh, attack forward, you know. And as soon as we break lines, then we go forward and then you, you really create uh, opportunities and, and chances to score a goal. And I think we can even... We, we, yeah, we we were pretty close to score uh, the equaliser, but yeah, in the end, it uh, it was not meant to be today. Clearly, in the second half, obviously there was more opportunity for for the players to to get forward, be more creative. The introduction of yourself, John Swift, Jan Kermigant coming on. Clearly, there was more confidence going forward there, and at times Norwich were on the ropes. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's disappointing that we couldn't score that, that extra goal, you know. But maybe you can score then another one. But that's all maybe and if, and we just need to start better and 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 don't concede goals too easy. And uh, that's a bit of yeah how it goes through the whole season. And yeah, there's no tactics uh, against uh, easy goals against you, you know. So oh, we have to wake up and. Uh, yeah, maybe it's a bit, uh, a bit late to, to say that, but yeah, we're getting closer and closer to the bottom three and you don't want to do, look down, and, uh, but we still got it in our own hands. So yeah, we, 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 I'm pretty confident we can do it, but uh, I can be confident of doing it, but, you know, and we are able to do it, but being able to it and actually doing it, that's a, that's a big difference. And yeah, we have to show it. Final stage of the, the season coming up, as you said, it's in your own hands now. You've got uh, a break in the international break for players to kind of reassess, refocus on what, what they has to do. Obviously, you've got some players going away with the country, coming back with fresh minds. Do, yeah. is the, how, just how important is the break? Well, it can, it can work on both ways, but uh, I think it's good at this point to uh, break the negative... Uh, circle and and you know being in negative situation of results and yeah we we it, it can work uh, in in a positive way you know people freshen up and uh, get back to hogwood uh, with a positive energy